All right. Thank you for coming, everybody. If you all would please join me with the Pledge of the Flag, which is right behind you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, if you could bow with a moment for a moment for a silent prayer. Amen. Thank you all for that. Thank you all for coming tonight. We have uh, uh, Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow, so we uh, called this special meeting to get get our things done today, and we're glad you all made it out. So the first uh, item on the agenda is the roll call. Do you have your report? No. Uh, the only one absent is John. Uh, the next thing is to go over the minutes from our meeting on October the, I had the 16th, is that not right? Is it the 15th? It is the 15th. Okay. 15th. I'll give you all a chance to look those over. And do I have a second? Awesome. Any discussion at all, guys? All right. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Thank you all very much. Now we'll move on to the treasurer's report, the financial statements. Um, Terry Kelton, the ABC administrator, those payroll yes. expenses, we voted three months yes. ago and to do away with her. And that's what we will, uh, we will vote on that tonight. Vote on? Uh, terminating that. I mean, we did that. And that's, it was November, so last time, so that's this month. Yeah. Uh, I think it was earlier than that, but... I don't have my meet minutes with me. Yes, that the end of that. Should be in August. Yeah, from August to November is 90 days. So we won't see that again next month. No, we should not. But we do have uh, deputies that are working. For the yeah, app? For the ABC. Yeah. Are we paying them yet? Yes. You probably won't see it in that one. They just don't in November. How much are we paying them again? It is like $20 an hour, I think. Is it $30 an hour? So that's going to end up costing us money for the alcohol. I think it'll be temporary. That it costs us money or that? I think the county will go away. No, no, no. For a long time it won't. Not before we run out of money and have to start going to the general fund for that. And that, that is something, though, that we probably should define with the sheriff's department. What hours? Because right now they work the hours they want, and maybe that's a conversation to be had that uh, what hours they work. You know, you guys, I'm sure you have ideas about when you would rather see them uh, out and about and what kind of hours that is. 
because we did not set any kind of hours. You know, it was just when you came. So what have they charged us for already? Uh, there was uh, Deputy Jim Mitchell has charged us for, for his patrolling around town a few times. Can get you a copy of the timesheet? Yeah, because he does bring in a timesheet. Okay. But that, that is a conversation to have to say, okay, we want you X, Y, or Z. You know, whatever those days are and whatever those hours are. Right. Preferably enough. Yeah, and whatever, yes. Uh, whatever those hours are, and, and then you can kind of get an idea of how much a month uh, you can agree with on that. Well, and I'm sure that's a new that's a new agreement that'll have to be worked out with the county and the city anyway. I'll just go on record again to say I'm not against anybody that wants to drink or buy it, but it has done nothing but cost us money, and that was a bad move. It's uh, I'm supposed to help us, oh, yeah. and the, it has not. That was the whole intention. It's helped the it businesses. Yeah, yeah, it's helped the businesses. Yes, yeah. yeah, and two it. people that they hired extra. Yeah, and it's costing us more than it would to hire three people. Our report this night here that alcohol kills more than drugs. Kills more people than drugs. That is that is true. Yeah, yeah. that is true. Oh, well, that's you know. That's, Kind of sure. hard water there. Yeah. So if the county ever decides to go wet, I'll be sure to be the first one to tell them that it'll cost them more money than it's ever worth. It, it depends. Because if you have the population, you can get the revenue. And that's, well, then and why? that's what hurt. That's what hurt Bedford. Was we don't have the population. You got to have. Uh, can we repeal it? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you sure could. You you put another amendment on the ballot. Have you heard any reports on some of them that have been in business a while? If it's been approved, their okay, you know their income has it been? Yes, yes, is it? yes. Okay. John Woods is tickled to death with it. Yeah. If we could put a tax on it, that'd be one thing. And right, and I understand, you know, that we can't be taking money out of our general account to to keep this thing up. Uh, but yeah, it, it does do good for the businesses, and does it do good for the city? No, not so much. But the uh, the alcohol-related incidents are way down uh, in the county as opposed to when it was dry, and uh, and I think that speaks volumes uh, about the access to it. Uh, you know, as opposed to somebody who is. Uh, drinking a, a few beers and decides to go to Carrollton and get more. And then they cross the double yellow line and kill some innocent family. So I think in a lot of ways it has, it has had a benefit. Uh, but what is the cost? So the city spends a little more money. And, uh, and I understand that. So maybe the county will go wet and there will be revenue. All right. So do you guys want to approve these financial statements? Yeah, I'll make a motion to accept them. Do we have a second? second. Very good. All right, all those in favor? All right, all right. pass. All right, next thing on the agenda, guys, is uh, commissioner reports. So, Harold, I'll start with you. You got anything on the sanitation? No, no problems. Sound like it's running pretty smooth. Good, good. All right, Tammy, we'll go with you with the cemetery. Um, we had a dedication for the Veterans Memorial that's at the cemetery yesterday. Hilda did a really good job of putting that all together and getting things organized. We had a pretty good turnout. Um, Everything seems to be going well. I haven't heard any complaints. We voted a few months ago to get that light for the top of the flagpole. Is it there? Uh, Jim? I have purchased the light uh, last week. I'm going to go. I am not put it up yet. I am not happy with it. Uh, the light that y'all chose to purchase, uh, one I pulled around a four inch pole. I'm going to have to make a bracket and a kicker and put the light on it. 
Would it be uh, cheaper to send it back and buy another one? It was only $39 and something, I'm not sure. Uh, but I think we, I was doing it because I was in a rush for your dedication. Then when I seen the dedication was moved, I wasn't such in a rush, so I haven't done nothing with it yet. I would like to propose we put a light either on the building, shining over to the flagpole, or we go ahead and pull electric to wire pull it over and one of those stabilizer lights like you see it around places shining up on the flagpole. It's probably going to cost you an extra hundred dollars for what you're going to spend anyway, but it's a one and done thing. And uh, with that flagpole, I think if we put this on there, it's going to be disrespectful in my opinion. So, so there is a key. So I'll be, do whatever you tell me. It's just easy to put it on the south building and angle it at the flat. That's what I would think, and it's going to be a fairly bright light. Now, whether or not the medevac out here is going to fuss at us or whatever, if it's shining up like that, I don't know. I say we put it up, and then if they say something, we deal with it from there. It. Uh, the only thing that, you know, they could use that as an LZ out there. There is several places out there they could use that to land the helicopter if there was me and ambulance. Uh, but as close as the helicopter is now, an on-site LZ is probably don't happen very often like it did when I used to. So would that be something you could buy at Lowe's and put up or yes. that light? I could buy it at Lowe's and I can do it. I am not an electrician. I can't wire it up unless we do something very simple as put it on a plug and I plug it in like you plug it in a lamp. Then can you get one that's um, uh, with a sensor that comes on at dark? Yes. Yes, they make those. Well, I'm going to make a motion that Jim goes ahead and buys one that's on a sensor that he can plug in and go ahead and put that up whenever he can. And maybe get a timer. Yeah, well, it'll be. If it has a sensor, it'll be. Yeah, I, I, think he, I don't know if I'm going to check. I think you either have to make a choice of a timer or a daylight dark sensor. I don't think it'll let right, it be one of the other. Well, I may be wrong about that. Hey. Well, I'll leave it up to you to pick yeah, one. Yeah, you figure it out. Photo cell would probably be simple, wouldn't it? Uh, photo cell would be yeah, simple. Yeah, that's the best thing to do on photo cell. So I'll make a motion for Jim to go ahead and buy what he thinks will work best on a plug with a sensor and and get that put up. Do you want to? Cap it. Do you want me to give me a budget? <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be safer for you. Well, I'm going to say thousand dollars. Well, no, I'm not going to say that. I'm very frugal, so you know, I would say fifty bucks maximum. But then again, you, well, I'd that's say what two, I see. That two hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Put, put me a cap on. Yeah, the two hundred max bucks. then. Yeah. Right. I'll be on that. I'll go there for the cap. We got a motion on the floor to spend uh, two hundred dollars on this flagpole thing and, and return the other one. Uh, second. No sir. Any discussion? All those in favor? Uh, good job. And Jennifer, if I, if I did give you a receipt, I'll give you that. Yeah, to return. Well, if you gave me that one. In the bill. Oh. Well, it's in the bill. Oh. Well, it's in the part you used to load. Did you get that at Lowe's too? Yes, it's on. It's on. So you can just yeah. take it back there and it's return. On all right. Anything else for the uh, cemetery, Tammy? No, oh, I think that's it. Oh, yes, there was. I'm sorry. Uh, the mapping and everything that we're doing, and we got the stakes in the ground and everything. Not completely. Can we suspend that until spring? We'll wait till spring and finish it up. Okay. So we'll just suspend that until April. Let's say April. Hopefully, the snow is gone. Yeah when yeah. the weather gets better so we'll mm -hmm. suspend all that until april to finish up the mapping i'll make a motion we suspend that till yeah. april yeah i'll see all right and all those in favor uh -huh. and and what she's talking about is those stakes to mark the roads yeah very nice and and i will add to uh what tammy said about the veterans memorial dedication uh she worked on it too and it was very nice uh, had we known it was good weather, it would have been nice at the cemetery. And there's several, several markers coming, uh, and it's going to look very good out there. 
good. All right, uh, next, guys, is the, about the FEMA, FEMA declaration from 2015. Uh, we have worked with Clay Kelly on this. We worked with uh, Kentucky, and Kentucky Emergency Management. Uh, the intention was back uh, when this was started is that we could do little ticket items and then as we got reimbursed, we do more projects. Uh, FEMA has since said that they want this whole thing completed by August of 2019 or we do not get reimbursed at all. Now, they have, and I told them, look, we're a small town, six, seven hundred people. Uh, we don't have that kind of money laying around. Uh, they said they would work with us to help us get pieces reimbursed so that we could continue to work on projects, but we have to get the whole thing done. There, there are several things done, uh, but what is left is the big ticket items. So we need some kind of reimbursement before we can even uh, begin to work on those. And we can also work with our contractors, uh, some of them maybe, about partial payment to them, uh, as they're willing to do. But my question to pose to you all is, do you want to complete this project? Because I will not be here, and it's going to be Joe, it's going to be you all. Uh, do you all want to complete this project? I don't look like we have a choice. Do we have a commitment from them in writing that we they do not. Nope. What's this going to cost? Do you have any idea? I've uh, got some ballpark numbers, Harold. I mean, uh, yeah, give us a... Uh, just ballpark, I'm thinking that when the whole thing is done, it's probably going to, It's they say $461,000. And I think that was a very high estimate, wasn't it, Jim? Yeah, it was on the top. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, based on our work with local contractors, there's some, some of these little projects that, that we had done, uh, they had priced a lot higher than what we actually got, on, uh, got the job finished for, which was a big help to us. And I explained that to them. You know, that $461,000 is like pie in the sky. And I felt like we could get it done a lot cheaper because we use local people, and uh, and we've been able to do that. And I think we'll continue to do that. The trouble then was uh, South Carolina, I believe, had a lot of problems, with, and all the money was eventually going down there. And I, I think the large projects was overwhelming, to, you know, four hours. Well, what, uh, what has happened is FEMA released the funds to Kentucky Emergency Management. They have the funds, and that is who we're working with now to get this stuff done. So they're, they're not pulling from Kentucky to take it to South Carolina. That's not happening. Yeah. So on these projects that are done, can we turn those in to them? Yes. Yes. And do we have paperwork to do that? Yes. Filled out and all the receipts? Sent. And already sent to him. It's already sent. Yeah. How long ago has that been? I think last week or two weeks ago. Probably two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And, and Ke Clay Kelly is still continues to work on this. That's something that uh, Joe coming in would need to sign an agreement with. And you all give him the approval to sign an agreement with Clay Kelly that Clay can continue to work with this. He speaks their language. He understands uh, the work that needs to be completed. He's filed the quarterly reports uh, that we needed to uh, file on time. And so I would really recommend it, keeping Clay on top of this. Is there an existing agreement that just has to be extended? Or this one, yes, and it would, this is the agreement. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the one that would be uh, August of 2019. And when would we expect to be reimbursed for what we already have done? Uh, they told me to email them tomorrow if the commission agrees or disagrees uh, to continue with the work or not to continue with the work. How much and are then you? I don't, then they'll say something. I don't know what they'll say. What's the reimbursement that you're requesting? It is uh, 
we would get 75% back from uh, Kentucky Emergency Management or FEMA and 12% back from the state. So it, it's an 87% uh, reimbursement. Do you have a total dollars of what we've already spent? I, I want to say we turned in like close to $50,000. So it's going to be it's going to be very slow, but just staying on top of it, and think, especially uh, when you're into these big ticket items. The bridge they're thinking to down the treatment plan, it's got to be absolutely, I mean, and that's part of it. But I mean, there ain't no way around. Right. right. And so at eighty-seven percent, we'd expect forty-three thousand five hundred in reimbursement for that. That's just what's completed now. Right. Just it's what we've out. completed now. Yeah. But we can use that to, right, to do the next, the next project. Exactly. project. But they're not going to give us anything until it's all completed. No, no, no. They'll, they'll, they'll yeah, pay us, yeah. but in chunks. Right. Yeah. So what the 50000 that was turned in last week would be right. 43000 we could work with on the next little piece. And then, and then the next little piece. Yeah, mm -hmm. turn it in and, yeah, and wait. Hurry up and wait. Mm -hmm. But it's going to have to be really hurry up. Well, and that'll be on there. there. I mean... Yes. And it's got to be completed. It's not ready to get. Yes, it will be on then. Yeah. We only got to figure out. <clears throat> Jim wants that road raised. Right. Do you want asphalt? Do you well, want and that's they, asphalt's got to go. Uh, that's be. something he and I talked about earlier. Uh, you know, this is not the time of year to do asphalt. So. What would be the next? I'm spring. The next project in this list that we would have to look at doing. Concrete. I don't know that you're going to do any of them that's left. Probably the cheapest one that's going to be on here is the security fence, but we can't do it until we do the asphalt because the fence is in the asphalt. Right, so that's like the last thing. Yeah, well, it's going to have to stair shift some of this stuff. We're going to put some in front of the other. May have to put some higher in front of the others, which that's obvious. But these are the big ticket items. These are the bulk of their estimates of the 460000 And again, that's, that's their estimates. They estimate high. Yeah. Uh, I got an idea of some cost, but it's probably best I keep that myself. Uh, as far as raising the road, which she was talking about, it was, the road was raised prior to 2015 here, and if we put it back to what we had, the road needs to be raised back up. With that being said, unless we raise the road, road back up, we put this in, we get another three or four inch rain, I'm going to be standing here looking at you guys. You want to do this again? That's going to happen again. Uh, since that channel was designed down there, there's been so much development back here behind the church. Like there's things we had on us. When that was developed, there was none there. Right. The fields of soil the water, everything else. Now, everything back there comes down to the whole So did we get any insurance money from that last and, and that guy was supposed to be here uh, Wednesday. And I was not. We, we left the worst me is uh, but he's coming with a check. The the extreme weather so. is always changing some bad. We have extreme weather one way or another. We never have normal like we used to. We could have one pretty quick again. Yeah. That's what worries me about that. So what kind of check was he supposed to bring us? I don't know. I was looking up his email to see what he said. And that goes into the general fund anyway. Yes, because that's where we took it out of. Yeah. I, I want to say it was like $17,000 that uh, we spent. No, that's not my email from So we already fixed that damage? Yes. Yes. Part yeah. of it's been fixed twice. Right. Since the flood. Yes. The FEMA thing we had fixed, that's in all the reports that they got us. Pretty quick. And then it done it again recently, 
And then we had a picture of him this time. He was going to be sick. The first time he was just going to be hospital. Then they went back in and fixed it again. And that's what I'm saying. If we don't raise the road, we'll be doing it again. Right. Or put a wall. Yeah. So yeah. we got to have water. It's got to be deflected in some way. Now, is any of that on this list, the race in the road, or not? Yeah, it is. Uh, it should be because yeah. it was like that. Uh, when it, I think I seen on here where they got grown lead, took out approximately 18 inches. I, I don't know if that's exactly where it's talking about, but it took out Came into last one. several oh, feet okay. of that road bed. And what we done, and we did not have a choice in the matter. Well, he took the high road out for us, and it, it forced it out down to here. We had to grab a list when we had access. I think it was like six feet. We, did, we lost all this. We never gained it back. That's why now, inch and a half rain, I got everything on this load and been to here. So we should do that one first. It's going to be the most expensive, but there. yes. Yeah, put that wall up there. It's going to be the most expensive. That's that concrete channel and steam bank stable. Uh, stream bank stabilization. There's only one cheap item on here that I've seen, and that's the pan and the chlorine. Yeah. And that's probably 25 bucks. I don't remember what the number was. I'm talking about my guy. That's the only cheap item on here. Huh. And the reason that's that has not been done, it's not because you all didn't give me money to do it. It was because that, well, it kind of is because I'm going to hit you up for a whole lot more money. Uh, because that pan is not made, nor that size of pan is made no more, and it is in a concrete wall. <coughs> the concrete wall's got to be modified, whether we, right. like bigger pan, smaller pan, it's got to be modified, because that pan's not available anymore. And how much is it going to cost to raise that road, approximately, just? If you're going to do it the way they're going to reimburse it, a lot. <laughs> Because what they require to be done, if that road was on my farm, I could do it for a grant. I'm going to take a wild guess and 60 grand. No. Oh. How much? Would you? I'm, yes. That's kind of what they were looking at. I mean, yes. I don't know those, those preliminary numbers. I mean, it's been in the dark, but yeah, that's probably right. So this looks like the uh, sewer pumps get pushed back further. Yeah. Well, no, you still got the project uh, of it, of that expansion, and included in that project was some new pumps, wasn't it, Jim? Yeah, that's a different thing than what this is. Yeah, it's a hundred percent different. Yeah, that's with Kipta and, and community development. Well, I'll say, I was hoping that you I'll have my two cents work on this whole thing. And then I'll, unless y'all need something, I'll say how to do it all on. If we know, if you all know, you're going to get your reimbursement, you have no choice to do this. Right. I agree. I'm just worried that we're not going to get the reimbursement. <laughs> That's where I'll You be. have no choice in doing this. If they're yeah. not, I mean, we're, how are you going to get there if we're, we're, we're This slow. bridge is falling in every day down there, more and more. Y'all been down there, you've seen it. Uh, we keep piling gravel on it. Any morning we're going to pull it down there and it's going to be gone. Yeah. Uh, you have no choice but to do this. Whether we get now, reimbursed or not. Do you have to do it for their specs? Where they require you to do all this geofabric, all this silly stuff that they have you do. Or, I hate to say this, but or you either. choose to not play that game and fix it your way and direct expense over there. That's something to go And that's a valid point. And I'm done. Yep. So yeah. if. <coughs> it's a very good point. Because it we does do have to get back no matter what. If we don't do it that way, we're going to get reimbursed. That's, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, because they if, will send somebody out to inspect. If they do it, if we do it our way and it's 
not up to good speed. enough. Oh yeah. Well, and it'll work. Is that the that. difference between the? I mean, would it be cheaper than what reimbursement we're going to get? Yes. Wouldn't you say? Probably would. Wouldn't. If you're going to get reimbursed eighty-seven percent, I'm going to have to say no. Doubt. Okay. Because if we go the other way, we're going to have to expense every bit of it. Yeah, that's true. And I'm not scared to do it. The road I've done that kind of work my whole life. The bridge is a little bit different story. Uh, because you have to have access in there while yeah, they're fixing it. Yeah, the bridge is a little bit. The bridge will worry me. Yeah. So but, it'd be better to follow their specs a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It would, the bridge would worry me. I have to be honest. And Clay, I think, is the one that drew up those what those specs should be. Yeah. He, yeah. Can he come and talk to us and tell us what he thinks? Absolutely. And, he had uh, he tore his Achilles tendon, so he. He's kind of gimpy right now. He's not driving yet, or he would have been here tonight. I spoke to him today. Yeah. I agree. It all has to be done, especially if we're ever going to expand. But, gosh, I want some concrete. Yes, you're going to get reimbursed as you go. I mean, if we spend $60,000 and we do that first and can count on that reimbursement, then we can muddle through until August. Yes. Yeah. But I want concrete. Well, we e I kind of want concrete we evidence that we're going to we get that back. We can't do it unless we got a promise. If if you yeah, we can chunk it out now. Like I mentioned earlier, there's some things on there that's going to be more. Your reimbursement's going to come. I'm going to have to say, okay, guys, you all told me I got the reimbursement, but I need thirty more thousand for until they reimburse us the next time. Right. And you're going to get it back. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. If you know you're going to do that. Yeah. If you know you're going to get it back. Right. You're going to catch It's a rock and roll. Yeah. Go ahead, Joe. Uh, one thing to look at, too, with all these steps they require, I know that is federally regulated. What it's got to be, if we don't put this stuff back in to the respects and within a certain time limit, are we going to incur any penalties because the sewer system? Well, it won't be penalties. They just won't reimburse us. Yeah, but I mean, if they come in and check it, and if things aren't up to specs, will we get fined for it? No, no we won't get that. They, they just won't pay us. Right. Yeah. If they didn't reimburse you for it, they had no concern for it. Right. But they will come inspect. Yeah, well, I just know that runs off certain regulations that have to be done down here, and if this is affecting any of the regulations, right. they won't get us for it. Right. They just will not reimburse us if it's not done to their satisfaction. If they reimburse you, they will go Yes. I wonder if they're going to be willing to give us something in writing. Maybe tomorrow when I email and say, hey, we're good, can you give me something in writing that says that I can pass on to my commissioners? Uh, I mean, I guess it'll tell the story if we're going to get reimbursed with this first bunch of right. bills we sent in. Yeah, I guess that will be that will be the. You could look at it and say, okay, we'll cut our losses at that point, but don't have them. And do it your point. It's going to be. Yeah, I don't think we can. <laughs> it's going to be a little expensive. Yeah, that would be. Yeah. It might be one of them that you. I can't say that they can't. Do it off the pot, you know? Mm-hmm. There's no easy way out here. None at all. Does anybody got anything to sell of the yard sales? <coughs> Community yard sales. <coughs> we'll take donations. Mm -hmm. I agree, we gotta be thick. I just, I mean, it's gotta be done, but oh, it's worrisome. But, well, I like a motion that we do. Okay. With the exception that you get that right. Yeah. 
Yeah. But if that's case, then it's got to be done. <laughs> whether or not. Right. It's got to be done. Yeah, whether or not. And that's the very unfortunate part. Right. Especially that bridge. Exactly. I must note, I'll second it with the condition that they give us something in, that we can count on. Something we can look at. God bless you. <laughs> Make a wish. All right. And see if Clay Kelly can make it to our next meeting in yeah. December and, and he should be good. make us feel better about it. How did he say he was today, Jim? He was eating when I talked to him. Did he say he's driving or no? He did not say. Okay. Uh, uh, we had a discussion later. Yeah, he, he's fine. He was cutting that camera. Oh, good. Good. All right, we have a motion and a second. And all those in favor? Aye. Unanimous, thank you very much. And maybe by tomorrow's meeting we'll know something. Yes, that's very likely. Uh, City Hall will be closed on Thursday, November 22nd and Friday, November 23rd and observance for uh, Thanksgiving. Code enforcement officer, uh, Jordan has brought his badge back and uh, I am going to uh, talk to fiscal court about doing an interlocal agreement between the cities of Milton and the cities of Bedford to let the county code enforcement officer do the cities as well. Milton struggles with the same thing. Uh, what do you all think about that? Because I'll come back to you with that plan. I'll be the thing, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I will. Well, then, we do it all for one price, so we pay yes, him too. No, he'll get he'll be getting paid through the county, and he he'll already be on the beat anyway. Sounds good. All right, uh, street closures for Light Up Bedford. The uh, street closures are Church Street from 421 to West Street, and that's it. Yeah. We will have a parade uh, come through town about 4.30. Jim, do you want to be in the parade? Mm -hmm. It is December 1st. <coughs> That's at 4.30. You'll be up here selling your lights, your uh, buckets. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Is your wife doing it? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Are you having a craft so thing? Are. Yes. I, 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 think yeah. we have, I think we have seven vendors uh, that have committed so far. So if anybody knows any more vendors that want to do that, uh, more the merrier. Yeah, I'll be here, sounds like. Yes, good. All right, uh, the next one, guys, is the planning and zoning. The county at uh, fiscal court this morning had the second reading of the planning and zoning ordinance. And uh, it is my recommendation that we follow suit with the county at this time. Uh, there, there will probably be changes later but at the present, there is not. And uh, I think it's probably better that we go along with them to, to stay in, in the same step with them. I make a motion, we opt in on it. And this is a voice vote thing, so. Right. <coughs> well, there's several things in it I don't agree with. Right. And just, I think just there is for all of us. There yeah. it is. Yeah. But I need to be on the spot over in the middle of a bunch of water. Right. And that's what this city would be. Yes, it would. I mean, it's a done deal, so. I can say go ahead with it. All right. We have a motion and a second. And uh, this is to have our first reading, by the way, so it's not voice vote. So, all those in favor of having the first reading of the summary. Uh, of the planning and zoning ordinance for the county. Say aye. Aye. Uh, and opposed? Uh, no. Okay. <clears throat> zoning ordinance, Trimble County, Kentucky, ordinance number. Do we know what ordinance number it is? Jennifer, do you know? Eight. Be it ordained by the City Commission of Bedford, Kentucky. Whereas the Trimble County Fiscal Court adopted this zoning ordinance on November 19, 2018, whereas the purpose of which is to divide the County of Trimble, Commonwealth of Kentucky, into districts of such shape and area as are deemed best suited to carry out these regulations, 
whereas the ordinance regulates the uses of buildings and land for residential and agricultural uses or for business and other purposes to prescribe penalties for violations to provide for enforcement of the same, to implement a planning and zoning commission, and to implement a board of adjustments. Whereas, the ordinance proposes to further the goals and objectives of the comprehensive plan previously adopted by the Trimble County Fiscal Court. Whereas, the ordinance is now before the Bedford City Commission for adoption. Now, therefore, the Bedford City Commission finds that it is in the best interest of the city's citizens of the city of Bedford to adopt the following zoning ordinance for Trimble County, Kentucky. Introduced and given first reading and summary at a duly convened meeting of the Bedford City Commission, Bedford, Kentucky, <coughs> held on today. All right, that's the first reading, guys. And the next item is uh, Joanne's contract it expires this month. Need to sign that. Um, no, that's just the first reading. The second oh, reading. this? Yes. Yeah. Second reading, yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so now you want we need to read this? Yes, this is the resolution. the resolution to enter into a contract again with Joanne. Um, so go ahead, Joanne. Uh, resolution 2018-4, uh, resolution authorizing mayor to enter into contract for legal services for the city of Bedford. Whereas it is the duty of the city commission to retain legal counsel and whereas it has been determined that a contract between Joanne Pitch and the city of Bedford is necessary. Now therefore, be it resolved by the city of Bedford that the mayor is authorized to enter into a contract for legal services for the city of Bedford with Joanne Pitch to extend from November 19th, 2018 to June 30th, 2019. After full, a reading in full on the 19th day of November 2018 and on motion by, seconded by. All right. We have a motion. I make a motion. A second. All right. Okay. And all those in favor? Aye. That's four ayes. Okay. Who seconded? Uh, here. Or Newt. No, I made the Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Uh, this being a special meeting, we have no other, uh, nothing else on the agenda. So. Uh, I have a couple things that I wanted to bring up before since we're not going to have much time tomorrow and we need to get things cleared up since you might not be here next month. Um, we voted to buy Jim a new laptop. Right. And I, and I passed it off and I don't think we've done it. And we, will we have been for six months going to get QuickBooks for payroll. I'd like to get that and start it in January so yes. we can have a full year. That's what we decided the last year. And if there, I mean, if there, there's a card we use or whatever, I can take care of buying all that and turning, you know. It's order. The QuickBooks thing. Quick book yeah. It's order. Yeah. To start January. And then Jim's laptop. Yeah, and I have one to get it. Uh, but I passed it off to get it. We'll get it. Okay. Easy. That's just a couple of things I could think of that we had <laughs> voted on that we hadn't <laughs> followed through with. So, and so we can. In January, is uh, Melissa going to be willing to input, or would you input on the QuickBooks for the payroll thing, or? I probably have to. Yeah, that, that's probably something she'll have to learn. Yeah, and Melissa can show her. I, I forget what they do at the school. What do they use at the school? Peach tree or something like that? Is that what you said? It's a little different, but, but she can figure it out. There's a guy there that said it would help me to do QuickBooks. You can always YouTube it. Yeah. That's true. And we can get our neighbor. He used to teach a class in it. Oh, okay. Lee. Lee Congo. Oh, okay. I'm sure he'd help. Mm -hmm. he's yeah, he's already volunteered. Yeah. So that should make things a little easier. Probably have to buy new checks where they prints out. Yes. And the stubs, which yeah. will be a big plus for Thank everybody. God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For everybody to have the stubs. Okay, so we'll get that done and talk about it. Make sure we get it all in order next month. Right. 
And the audit we are waiting on Razors Avenue Woods. Yeah. Now, did, was there an audit last year? Yeah, that's the one we're waiting on. Okay. Uh, but, and what has been explained to me was uh, Jeff Woods, who does ours typically, was hit by a car, broke both his legs, and then uh, Dennis took it over. Dennis came over here, he got all the stuff, and uh, I don't know what the holdup with them is now, but every time I've called, they have excuses. Well, why don't we just why? get somebody else? And, and well, that's what I think is, is caused the delay. Is uh, Jeff going to be uh, able, well enough to do his stuff on the road or not? Is he crippled? Yeah, yeah well, no, he's walking. Uh, I think when we advertised uh, last last year, I think that's what slowed us down. When we advertised in the paper that we were looking for a new auditor, I don't I don't know that. I the state said, probably provides double contracts with people. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a list well, of certified. Uh, maybe we should accounts. just go with somebody new. The last time we, we had the same problem with the Rachel's out. Okay. Over a year to get to get an audit done. And right. The last time when I was before I retired, there was a company in St. Matthews. We called the extension office and, and get that number from Jane. They were there in two weeks. They were ready to do it before we were ready. To oh, wow. get all the information, and they had it done within six weeks. No kidding. Yeah, very well, I think it'd be a good idea to start fresh. Uh, and and they they can, but they're really busy. I know that because I called them a few years ago and they weren't interested. Oh wow! It, it might have been a little bit. It might have been a little bit over that. We have more money to do our steward. Yeah, that'd be but, great. Uh, if he's right on that number, you might be better. Yes, it would. <laughs> I, I could be wrong. Uh, Peter Pan, the company. Call Jim. I already checked your stuff. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Well, all right. Well, what else we got? Uh. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it probably would. Yeah, that, I'm sure it will be. We just want to die. Contacted the name of them when they were sat in that use and they contacted us and they were ready to go right up in that. I don't want to lie, I just let commissioners know that our uh, permit <coughs> discharge during the plant expires, our five year permits expires this coming year. Uh, Clay. What month is that, Jim? Uh, I don't know, kind of October. Okay. Uh, but Clay and I, or I and somebody in Clay's group, will be Probably Ryan. redoing that and submitting it. Because if we don't have it in by early spring, right. we won't have it back by October. Joe, you making a note of that? <laughs> in other words, that thing you need to sign with Clay Kelly? Yes. Sign it. Yes. Yeah, that's what that means. <laughs> yeah, which is, that's giving him the power to talk for you. Yeah, or the mayor, however you want to work there. All right, anything else, gentlemen, ladies? So, are you going to be here December first, or? Uh, I, I, I uh, yeah, this could be my last meeting. Uh, I understand that uh, Jerry Powell is uh, retiring as of November thirtieth. And uh, uh, this this may be my last meeting with the city commission. So uh, <coughs> you would have to resign from here. Yes, I will. I will resign from here, and I'll give you all those letters uh, to that effect. But then, will there be no mayor for all? Uh, uh, we will have mayor pro tem. Okay. Yeah, for the month of December. Hey. Yeah. Yep. It's exactly right. I could be dangerous with power. Who swears in the new mayor? Joanne can. I'm going to say, would yeah. Jeff be swear in? Yeah. yeah, that or Joanne. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about it. I don't want to get y'all legal issue. I've never seen it done. Right. It would be neat. Yeah. <laughs> so we have to get swear in You all do though? too, so I may, have to, I may come back just for a little bit. Oh boy. Yeah. Just to come swear in. Yeah. All right, 
Yeah, so that, it's, that's it. It's been, uh, been a long time. Out of the frying pan. That's it, right into the fire. No better place to be. I'll be uh, shed wreck, you shack, and a bed to go. You can come crawl back to us. Really? I want to be in the city. I want to be in the city. All right, so if there's nothing else to discuss, please do. And do we have a second? All right, amen. Thank you. Yeah, you.